Number five says negative 2x minus 9y equals negative 25. And then it says negative 4x minus 9y equals negative 23. And when you see that, what do you wish was there already? Exactly, we're seeing two nine y's and they're both negative and we wish one of them was positive, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply one of these equations by a negative one and change the signs. So that's one of the things that I like about working with elimination. You have the power to change the numbers that are there to get rid of one of the variables. Um, I'm gonna multiply this one by negative one, the entire thing, every single term gets eliminated or um, <laughs> multiplied by negative one. That means every sign is going to change. So this is going to become four x plus nine y equals twenty three. Seven negative one. And then I'm going to take the first equation and I'm going to rewrite it underneath this just so I can have them all together lined up. Negative 2x minus 9y equals negative 25. Beautiful. Now I can eliminate the y's, right? I'm going to combine the other like terms. 4x minus 2x is going to give me positive 2x equals 23 minus 25, negative 2. I see another negative 1 in our lives happening. <laughs> Divide by, negative, or by positive 2, and x is equal to negative 1. Whoever made this worksheet really likes negative 1. <laughs> kind of, right? And then I'm going to take either one of the first two equations and go plug in x equals negative 1. I'm going to rewrite the first one down here just because it's easier to work with. I plugged in negative 1 where the x goes. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Minus 9y equals negative 25. Subtract 2 from both sides. You get negative 9y is equal to negative 27. Divide by negative 9, y equals 3. So we end up with negative 1, comma 3. Try that with number 6. There is a term there that if you multiply one of